For today's video, I'm going to do something absolutely insane. I'm going to create the strongest horse in Ark's history, which is going to involve me mutating the melee stat of a horse all up to max and then maxing out its levels all into melee, creating the strongest possible horse. And then after we do that, maybe we can see if we can knock out a Giga or something. But before we attempt any of this, we need some horses. Ooh, hello, level 180. The real question is, are you any good? Uh, melee looks okay. The rest look kind of bad. All right, let's get them. Here's some kibble. There's some more, and there's some more. I gotta say, I absolutely love the patterns on these R horses. They are so pretty. I'm very excited to see what I could do with the colors. You know, I just realized I probably should have made myself a Fjordr server before starting all of this, so I could get myself some Desmodus, which would give me some Sanguine Elixirs, which would make this a little bit less unbearable. We're gonna have to power through, though, because I, I don't want to do that right now. Hey, gotcha. 42 points into melee is not very good. It's got high food. Uh, yep, that's not great, though. All right, well, we got to keep looking, and I'm pretty sure I've already checked you out. Yeah, you're terrible, and you're dying. Got another one. Eh, 45 points is more, but I actually need an even number if I want to actually max out this thing. Oh, you got really high melee. Okay, let me tame you then. Okay, come on, let me see those stats. 55 points yes although that's bad because it's an odd number it needs to be even huh yeah i think my only option now is to use mutagen to make that an even number just in case you're not following it needs to specifically be an even number so we can land on 254 max points because we can't go to 255 if we did that we couldn't pump in any levels and if we were on an odd number we'd have to stop at 253 and at that point, it's not as powerful as it can be. Yes, I'm a perfectionist in this case. Not in all cases, though. All right, so it costs 45 mutagen to boost up a horse. We will keep that in mind. For the moment, I'm going to keep taming them because I might end up getting something uh, better, potentially. But I do actually have to get myself some better health and stamina and weight stats. Although the stamina on this one's actually pretty good. Jumping ahead a few days, we actually have some pretty amazing horses right here. So first of all, this is the best melee that I now have. It's 59 points, which again is an odd number, which means that we will be using mutagen on it. And that's actually also going to boost up its weight to the highest stat that I have as well. Uh, we've got some pretty amazing uh, stamina right here, 53 points. I might actually try and get some mutations into that as well. I probably won't need too many, but then we also have the health right here at 55 points. And we're definitely going to be mutating this. In fact, I'm kind of tempted to bring this up to max as in 255 and at that point i won't actually be able to pump any levels into it i don't know i'm tempted to do it i'll see how this all goes but let's go ahead and mutagen our horse right here i'm not going to be mutagening all of the horses just this one because 45 mutagen is kind of a pain to get here we go boom and amazing so guys in case you don't understand how mutagen actually works it's the thing that you can find on genesis and essentially what it does is it's going to boost up the base stat it doesn't add any levels onto it but you can only use it on creatures that have not been bred and it's perfect for creatures that can't breed at all like rock golems and stuff so as you can see that melee is now at 64 and now we need to <laughs> this is silly we're gonna need to get 95 mutations into that stat yes 95 i'm i'm kind of uh, yeah this is gonna be a pain it truly is all right let's uh let's get going here let's get these guys breeding what we need to do next is just combine them all into the same horse so i'm gonna be breeding uh the male with both of the females and we'll just kind of keep combining until we have all the best stats into the one horse and then i'll have to make 10 billion of those and surround this whole room with the females and and one very lucky male. All right, so I've since bred all the best stats into some horses, and now I have 30 of those as females. We're just gonna mush them all into like a big spot like this. They're not really landing where I want them to land, so I'm okay with just having like a big mass like this. Uh, how many is that so far? Uh, yeah, we've got about 12 more to go. Um, I don't know how far the, the reach is on a male horse, so I, I don't know, man. We're probably going to have to mush them all into like this one little spot and just see if we can fit any more. But yeah, so this will mean that we're going to have really, really fast mutation output because the more females we have, the more chance that we're going to get the mutation every single breed. So that is kind of the goal right here. Ooh, that's not what I meant to do. Oh, and I've since also managed to get a health mutation on this one and then a melee mutation on this one. I'll probably try to get just a couple stamina mutations, maybe round it off at like 5k or something and uh then we'll be good to go maybe what i could do actually is build something on top of these guys and then just put the male up there that would probably work out better because i really doubt it's going to be able to reach all of these females 
so in the end, I actually did need to do the whole ceiling trick because it wasn't able to reach all the females. And uh, any second now, they should all... There we go. <laughs> so yeah, it's breeding with all 30 of them now, which is great. So we're going to have an output of at least 30 uh, babies every few minutes here. And uh, that should make this whole process so much quicker. Honestly, like smaller creatures like this is so much easier to mutate in just massive waves like this because... You know, you don't need that much space to actually fit them all in. It's like things like Gigas and stuff that's been an absolute pain in the past. But, um, yeah. So, anyway, we, uh, we're gonna have to be worrying about some colors here. I'm gonna have to come up with something really, really good looking. And, actually, we have all the babies popping out right now. We should check that out. But, uh, these patterns are amazing. We need to find a really good combination of colors to, uh, to suit that. Let's see. Do we get any? They should be 332 if they're mutated. They're all females. So, they're useless, but... Yeah, uh, we didn't even get what I'm looking for. I'm looking for a stamina one. That's the only one that I need. And then I'll probably start mutating the melee and the health at the same time. Um, all right. Well, anyway, yeah, we're going to have to do this for a little bit. And you know what? I'll probably see you guys in a few weeks because this doesn't just happen in like a day. Um, actually, my whole method for doing this is once I... Oh, what do we need? We need water. Do I have my canteen? I do not. It is on my night all over here my whole process for this for this whole mutating thing because you know i've been going kind of crazy with this stuff over the last while and i know people are curious how it's all done you know this isn't all done in like a week or a day or anything usually it's done over a couple weeks to be honest because <laughs> uh it takes a long time to get up to those kind of uh numbers but um the whole process is once i get all the mutations that i need for the base i'll get mutations for all of these guys and then i'll probably just leave and come back on later and then do the next one and sometimes by the time i get the last mutation on the last one that i need the first one's already ready to breed again so i can kind of skip ahead a little bit that way but it's it's kind of like a whole long process that would be really difficult to make entertaining and show in videos so i kind of just don't really bother with that so um yeah anyway did i get rid of all these i did not let's go ahead and do that there we go there he goes again <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna need to make a ramp actually so I've completed all the breeding and I was ready to bring you guys back and then I came over here because I knew that I wanted a saddle right of course so I came over here and I searched up saddle and I was like oh no we don't have a very good blueprint so I was kind of disappointed and then after that I was like okay well maybe I have a physical saddle that I already have in here and I searched it up and um I forgot we had this 195 armor where did we get that? I don't even remember. We also have 129 here as well. The only place that I could imagine we might have gotten that from is a Genesis drop. Genesis part one, or I guess part two as well. You know, the drops that you get from the little in built-in shop from the points and stuff. That's the only place that I might have gotten something that OP because that is honestly so ridiculous looking. So yeah, 195 armor is what we have, and um, that's, that's going to work, man. That's totally going to work. So let's run through the stats real quick. So first of all, uh, we have the perfect mail right here. Just a quick refresher for you guys, just in case you've forgotten from like five minutes ago. Uh, yeah, we uh, we have, of course, all the wild stats that we got together. We uh, mutagened the melee one, so that one super boosted up. And uh, yeah, from there, I went ahead and I did a lot of mutating, a lot more than I thought. I knew that I wanted to get the melee up, but I didn't know I also wanted to get the stamina and the health up to max. Um yeah uh we we did that it, it was a lot there, there's a lot of breeding that went into making these horses and um i can tell you right now i don't regret it because they are all really really good um yeah so first of all this is of course non-imprinted stats uh i maxed up the uh the health and the stamina up to 255 which is a number i generally kind of try to avoid because when you get to 255 into a single stat base points you cannot pump levels in. That's why I will stop at 254 or 253, wherever it lands, if it's odd or even. So 255 is a number that generally I don't go to, and I'll demonstrate this in a minute. I'm not able to pump any levels into it, no matter what. And then we got the, uh, we brought the weight up. I can't even remember how many mutations we did for that. Uh, how many did we do? Oh yeah, okay, so I guess we did 30 then for that. I don't know, I, I stopped that one a long time ago and continued all the rest, of course. So yeah, I got a bunch into the weight just to kind of help us out a little bit. But then the melee, I, I w brought that up to 254, which is where we needed to be, because at this point we're still able to pump in levels and we're going to pump in all 83 into that stat at some point today. So let me show you the imprinted version. Boom. By the way, bearing in mind, um, even with the, the amount of mutations and stuff into that health, it's still not even breaking 15k, even with the imprint. Now, of course, levels would have gotten that up, but I want to pump them all into the melee. So we're just going to have to go like this. Uh, with that saddle, though, I think we're, we're going to be good. It, it should be fine. But um, yeah, also the stamina. The reason why I brought that up is mainly because, uh, you know, we're going to be doing a lot of kicking. And uh, that's 
that takes up a lot of stamina and we don't want to get knocked out while trying to knock out a Giga or something so uh yeah basically decided to bring that up to max as well and uh also just take a quick look at those colors and let me show you what they look like although you already know because the thumbnail boom check this out it's the lighting's not great right now ah, damn it okay hang on wait can I get into better lighting maybe possibly I don't really think so Damn it. All right. Well, anyway, yeah, you can, I mean, you can mostly see it. It's just, you can't see all the colors perfectly. I guess I'll gamma up to make it a little bit easier to spot the difference right here. But just in general, I got that yellow and I was like, okay, we need, we need to use this yellow. It looks amazing. And it looks really, really good, especially on this region. And then I was like, okay, we need something else for that. And yellow and blue always go well together. So we have that glacial blue color up there as well, which I think looks great. It's super hard to see because it's super dark right now in this area. Uh, but yeah, you can see that glacial blue and the yellow are on the top for that cool pattern. And then from there, we have a teal color as like this middle kind of section that's part of the tail and it's kind of the butt as well. But it also kind of crackles into the glacial blue region right there. And uh, on the very bottom, we have a blue, which is really nice. Uh, kind of just rounds it all off. I did try to get more yellow into this. I tried to at least see what the legs would look like as yellow and stuff, but those regions just seem to like darken it up. So it, uh, it basically looks like baby poop. So we didn't really like that. I, I like this bright looking yellow. That looks really good. And um, yeah, just in general, I do have to say our horse is amazing looking. I love the top. They really could have done something with the legs though, or maybe the feet, maybe made like the feet their own region. We could have like painted them or something. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> like a little painted hoofs or something i don't know like it would have been really cool if they had done that but uh unfortunately like it's such a cool creature up top and then down below definitely lacking it would have been nice to have more patterns maybe stripes on the legs or something i don't know just something would have been nice to have but anyway yeah let's uh let's saddle this thing up you can actually see it's already got a bunch of levels i haven't actually done anything with it i've just left it inside the cryopod for a while uh we will go ahead and paint up that saddle but real quick i want to test this thing out let's see is there like uh something i can go and hit over here we got an equus but if i go near it's gonna start running from me uh what is that is that dead that looks like a dead anki okay let me keep looking until we can find something that's not gonna be able to run away from me immediately okay we got an anki over here i'm gonna go for those uh are they mate boosted though that's the only thing um you are mate boosted okay i might be able to quickly just kill the other one or something or maybe lead it away i don't know i just want to get try and get some clean numbers out here just to show you uh but anyway yeah let me see so i have the magnifying glass let me just check your torpor okay got a good amount uh okay don't come from me bro he's he's already got a good amount he's got like three thousand. uh let's just see how many kicks it's gonna take it bearing in mind this thing is mate boosted so it's gonna take like half the damage uh 3,000? Really? Come on, bro. You gotta get knocked out now. Uh, it's still not even out. Okay, there we go. Maybe I'll go ahead and just quickly kill this one, and we'll test it out properly on this one right here. We gotta probably run away for a second, though. Really should have just dragged some creatures over here to test things out properly. Though we do have a Jaboa. Hmm. I feel like we'd kill that thing if I if I kicked it, though. Definitely would end up just, like, one-shotting it. All right. Uh, Dodex, probably not. We can probably check out this Anki again, though. Let me run back down. Let me just... Can we, can we go ahead and just, like, knock the lights out? There we go. <laughs> the lights are out. They're not coming back on. Okay, that Anki's still coming for us. I guess maybe we can try and test this out then. How much Torpor do you have? Okay, I've already hit him a little bit. Um, he was on 1,300. Let's hit him one more time. Uh, let's see. Right there. Okay. And let's see. How are you doing now, bro? Okay, that did like a thousand Torpor right now. Without any levels, that's still pretty good. We do have the imprint. Uh, we don't have mate boost to boost us up at all. I'm going to go ahead and actually make two horses. Well, I already have another one ready. We just got to go ahead and saddle the two of them up. And um, and then, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll basically, when we, when we go to try to knock out the Giga, I want to actually have the other horse with me. And uh, hopefully that one doesn't die while I'm trying to do this. But um, yeah, there we go. I mean, we're doing some pretty good damage. Let's go ahead and pump in these levels, though. Oh, crap. I wanted to show you guys this. So check this out. Okay, I'm not sure if you're going to be able to hear me clicking, but just know I am clicking. Can you hear that? Yeah, uh, I'm trying to click. It's not doing anything. Well, I am clicking. It's just not doing anything. It's not going to do anything on either of these stats because you cannot pump levels in at this point. Obviously, that was intentional for me. I wanted to uh, get up to the absolute max because I'm not going to be pumping anything into them. So what would, be, what would be the point of not doing that? Plus, we already had the odd level. So it was kind of perfect for us. But uh, yeah, can we? <laughs> let's let me just see. I, I want to test out the damage. I know it's going to kill him, but oh okay that's a major boost right there sweet all right what else do we have um i kind of i feel like we might be able to one shot this uh procoptodon let's see boom no damn maybe two 
Hey, there we go. Okay, two kicks and he's out. Let's see. The Raptor's definitely going to be like one. There we go. Wow, that was a 162. Very, very nice. So yeah, uh, what we got to do now is uh, we pretty much just... <laughs> we got to we gotta kick the crap out of some babies, man. <laughs> don't, don't quote that. Yeah, uh, we got to do that. We, we got to level this thing up to max. It's already got, I think, 56 levels so far. It has a long way to go before we get to max level. Although I also want to quickly paint up this saddle. Let me go back and do that. Okay, let's see. What do we want to do with this? So I've got a bunch of colors that I feel like they might suit it. Um, I was thinking cyan because it's kind of close to the glacial color that we have there. Uh, what should we make as like the main region though? Let's see. Does that look nice as the yellow? Okay, that one's not very nice. I think this one's kind of nice, but I don't think it's bright enough on that region. Definitely yellow on the buckles. I feel like that would be a good idea. Maybe yellow on the buckles and then on this region. Okay, what else do we have then? We got to make some of the cyan at least. Uh, let's see. I kind of, I want to get this region as cyan. There we go. Okay, cool. And then we've got most of the straps. So I should probably get some of the actual saddle cyan too. Uh, I guess cyan for there looks good. And then maybe yellow for the, like the little pack. Or what What about this one? Um, I actually kind of like that. It's a darker kind of color, but it's definitely kind of nice. Let's see. What about this? Uh, yeah, there we go. Cool. All right. So I think that's what we're going to do. The worst part about the saddle is like the little like what I assume to be like a little sleeping bag kind of roll thing um yeah that that is like not something that you can paint for some reason which is really silly okay well there we go i think that looks good it's definitely um it suits the colors for sure i think the science a little bit too bright for the glacial blue but i don't know if we'd be able to get something similar to that like there's not very many blues i guess the sky blue but i don't know i feel like we'll go with this for the moment all right let me grab out these paints and we'll put them back and then we got to start the the baby massacre <laughs> it's so awful uh, by the way, when it comes to a name for this horse, um, I was kind of thinking, I don't know. If you guys have some suggestions, let me know. But I was thinking, you know what? Like Domino would make a whole lot of sense for this thing, you know, because it knocks things down. Like, you know, Domino's like, I don't know. I, it made sense in my head. I don't know if you guys like it. We'll, uh, we'll maybe name it that for the moment. And if I find a better name in the comments section, I'll probably name it that. Uh, you can actually see the colors pretty well right now. Let me pop off that saddle so you can see a little bit better. There we go. That's a nice, uh, a nice view right now, actually. This lighting would have been perfect for us earlier. What the hell? Like, is that an Ichthyornis? What the hell? What is that? Oh, that's my guy there. It almost kind of looked like an Ichthyornis for a second. Okay, so we've got like over 500 eggs ready to go here. Uh, let me just hop into this tiny little room that I made. I just don't want these things running all over the place, so I kind of had to make like a little enclosed area. I have eight of these Hesperornis eggs, which are, of course, really good for um, for bumping up the XP. Maybe I'll pop some of them in here just in case I forget or something like that. Uh, okay, let's pull out this horse then. Let's see. Boom, and then I'm just gonna... I don't even know the best way of doing this. Probably just like you know, letting this happen. <laughs> so ridiculous. Let me see. Can I get out of here? Maybe not. Uh, okay. This is a mistake. Okay. Now I can ride on him. Sweet. Okay. Um, yeah, let's just, let's just begin. Actually, wait, no, no. I, I want to go ahead and pop one of these in here. So boom, we have a little XP boost for, uh, what is that? Like 10 minutes. Let's get this done. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to employ the help of some other creature in here because we can't actually harvest the corpses and the horse. So, uh, yeah, kind of kind of super annoying. But, um, yeah, you can see those levels are already starting to roll in. I'll probably pump them as we go just so we don't um, so we have to... We can basically, like, do more damage and we don't have to spend as much time doing this. Uh, let's see. Still around nine levels. Let me get over here. There's a bunch of them hiding over here in the corpses. Oh, my God, this is horrifying. So yeah, the easiest way of doing this is to pretty much just like mass transfer them into the horse, I would say, and then just do it like this. Generally, I don't even do my leveling in this spot right here. I actually have another like little base location on the map, but uh, unfortunately I did all the breeding here and I don't want to have to bring all the eggs with me. So this is easier. But yeah, I just got an extra four levels out of the last batch and uh, we're just working our way through all these here. Um, let's see, we got maybe one more level, probably just one of us. I think it may be two. Yeah, just, just one for the moment. 
it's gonna get a lot slower now at this stage but eventually we will have this horse up to max melee and it's gonna be amazing all right well here it is this horse is max level and all of the levels have been pumped into melee damage i got it wrong i thought it was 83 but it's actually 88 i keep forgetting that they made that change a little while ago where is it there it is so yeah you can see right there every single level has been pumped into the melee and that is the strongest that a vanilla horse can get now if you mess around with mod settings and and you know like all of these other things yes you can make them stronger but you know like that that's that doesn't really count you know i don't mess with actual stats uh in my settings and stuff all i do is just pump up my rates and make insanely high breeding rates but uh yeah so let's see how much damage we do now when we kick that's almost double okay wait how much did we do before i feel like uh i can't remember the exact number of torpor that we were doing before okay well we got to test this out on something we got an anki over here perfect ankies are just like the test dummies for this video also i gotta bear in mind we are mate boosted so maybe for the moment i will chuck you away i actually gotta go back and grab that other saddle i think i left it back at the base um all right let's see so we got the magnifying glass is my okay i thought my button there was sticking a little bit maybe i just chubby fingered it okay there we go so it's got 2000 torpor i reckon we're gonna knock this thing out in one go yeah there we go <laughs> oh my god that's hilarious okay wait wait we got we got to find something that's a little bit tankier maybe that power store over there i don't know we gotta look for like a high level so torpor goes up with the creature's level um and it's only the base level i don't think that pumping levels into a creature actually does anything but obviously these are wild creatures so they're not gonna have any of that just figured i should mention that though um that's one thing early on i didn't even realize that uh torpor mutations weren't a thing for a little while I feel so stupid now, though. Anyway, uh, back to it. We got a Diplo. That's a perfect target for this. Level 18. Okay. Mm, probably going to have, like, a couple thousand at least. Let's see. 6,000. Okay, wait, wait. Let's see. One. Okay, wait. Let's hit him again. I meant to try and hit him again there, but he batted me away. Uh, we got one in. I can't hit him at all. Here we go. Boom. Two. Three. <gasps> there we go. Okay. I don't know the exact amount that we're doing, though. We got to actually test this out and see the... Uh... <laughs> That's so horrifying. I knock him out and then I just finish him off. <laughs> That's just truly horrifying. I could not, I'd like, a, a horse like this shouldn't exist. <laughs> this is so silly. Anyway, uh, we gotta find something. We gotta actually see the number. So maybe something that's not really gonna attack back much and something that's not gonna run away too fast. So basically, I'm looking for an Anki, is what I'm trying to say. Um, what do we have? We got an Obvious, actually. If it's a high-level Obvious, we might be able to do it. I did see another Anki here, though. Um, okay, we have some stuff around, but I think we're good. Let's see? Okay, yeah, it's a low level. We'll just knock that thing out in one go. We need it to resist the actual, uh, the attack, because if I hit it in one go and knock it out, then that's not good. There are only low levels around here. Crap, okay. What about that Power Swarm, maybe? It could be kind of hard to read his Torpor, though. Uh, yeah, I just, I would kill him in one go. My god, we just, we gotta find something, man. <laughs> Let me check over here. Maybe we can go down to the beach if I need to. Boom. Oh my god. <laughs> hey, buddy. There you go. Enjoy. That's what you get for chasing me. Okay, we got an Anki here. This could be perfect. Uh, it's a 168. Perfect. Okay, there we go. This is it. Uh, Well, I guess we don't. We just need to kick him first. And now I check and see. Let me, let me see your torpor. Okay, hang on. I'll just, I'll just do this. I know we're gonna probably get hit. 2,500 torpor for one kick. And, like, you can kick very fast on this guy. That's, like, you know, that's, like, 20,000 torpor right there. That's insane. Okay. Um, Bronto. Let's knock out a Bronto. We got to find a decent level Bronto, though. Uh, you are, what is that? 102? Okay, it's not super good, but we'll, we'll kick him anyway. We'll, we'll try and knock him down. Uh, check his torpor first, just to kind of see... Um, okay, so we gotta hit him, like, what is that, like, six times then? One, two, three, four... Okay. He's batting me around. This, this is the issue. Yeah. Okay, five, six, maybe? Come on! Hey, there we go. <laughs> That's epic. Okay, we gotta watch out for these, uh, Dinotherium. Maybe I should kick them, actually. I'm not sure if they can get knocked out quickly. Um, okay not really able to hit them too much okay let's just run away from them they're too dangerous those are from our conditions in case you're curious they're very fast oh what the hell was that okay um yeah they're very very fast we, we don't really want to get caught up with them but yeah just in general i mean they're still chasing me <laughs> okay here we go 
Get, come on. We gotta get him. Also, we need to test this out with the mate boost. And if I really wanted to go crazy with all of this, I guess we could also test it out with uh, Uteranus buff. Oof, I almost said. Uh, we could test it out with that and like anything else that can buff damage. But I think for the moment, you know what? Like getting all that set up to try and knock out a Giga could be kind of messy. So maybe we'll just focus on, um, on the one important thing, which is the mate boost. Oh my god, dude, stop. Stop chasing me. Okay, at least we can pull out weapons on the back. Here we go. This is what you get. You know what? Actually, I'll give you something even better. Here's a Karch. Enjoy. You guys, you guys have fun. Enjoy. <laughs> there you go, buddy. Go ahead and kill them for me. Please. They're so annoying. Okay. I really love these creatures, but like, god damn, they, they, they need to not spawn as much. There's so many of them everywhere now. It's kind of annoying. They're... They're definitely way too aggressive and OP just in general to uh, to keep around. So I don't know. We got we got to sort that out. Let's see. Maybe I can somehow turn down their spawns or something. Uh, okay. I thought I was picking you up there, but I guess not. Oh, no, buddy. No, no. We don't need to kill everything. There we go. We're good. Cool. All right. Um, maybe we can knock out another Bronto. I mean, like 2,500 per kick is really just ridiculous. So from now on, when it comes to knocking out creatures, if it's safe to do so, I'll use the horse. Because why wouldn't I? I mean, like, this is ridiculous. I can knock him out in two kicks. Boom. <laughs> and now he's dead. Oh, man. I know I probably could have killed him a little bit quicker. But you know what? Knocking him out is, is just as hilarious. Let's see. What about you? Hey, buddy. Come here. Let me get you. Now, unfortunately, this is not going to work on Titanosaurs. If it did, we could do that. But they don't actually gain Torpor the same way as as other creatures so kind of disappointing but it is what it is let me go ahead and just murderize this guy here sometimes it's easier to just hit with the actual normal attack oh my god dude let me get you yeah here we go got him just a horse jumping out a giant uh penis horse um anyway let's see uh we gotta do one test real quick and then we'll uh we'll go and try and find a giga that's a 174 anki that's perfect okay we need to kill this thing though you need to leave me alone what are you doing bro Come on, get out of here. You're gonna annoy my Anki. Oh my god, okay. Yeah, we gotta kill that thing. Uh, maybe some tech? You like you like element? Does that feel good? I bet it doesn't. I bet it stings. There we go. That's what you get. Nice. Okay. Anyway, are you coming for me? Yeah, you definitely are. They don't do damage, but they're just super annoying. Come here, Mr. Diplo. How many kicks is it gonna take? Uh, did we get you? No? Okay, a little bit more. A couple more kicks. So yeah, Giga's... Uh, how much... Torpor does an average Giga have? We gotta think about this before anything. Um, honestly, I really should just go over to Genesis. I think we'll go over to Genesis Part 2 for this, just to see if we can find a Giga over there and then knock it out. I wanna try and find a good level Giga, not that I wanna tame one. I don't need to tame any more Gigas nowadays, but we definitely need a good one, so it's gonna have extra Torpor. Let's see, how much do we do now? Uh, we got the mate boost, and let me test this out. Boom, and let's see. Come here, buddy, let me see it. Oh, we had it, but I, I couldn't actually read it. Uh, oh, okay. 3,300-ish. Basically 3,400. Okay. So, yeah. In, like, 20 kicks, like, that would be, like, 60,000 uh, freaking Torpor. And we could do a lot of kicks very fast on this guy. Now, the one thing I am worried about is it potentially dying beforehand. That is one concern. And to a Giga, hmm, definitely could happen. I don't know. I don't know if we're actually going to be able to accomplish this dream in today's video, but we'll definitely, we'll, we'll die trying if we need to. Um, all right, let me prep some stuff and we'll head on over and, and try to accomplish this dream. <laughs> what has this series become? We're just doing the most outlandish things now. <laughs> I love it. I really do. All right, I just saw a Giga. There it is. This is a 162. Perfect to test this out with. Uh, we got to deal with the Styla first. Come here, buddy. Oh, let me... Okay, let me actually just do this attack then because we're not able to hit him if he's in front of me. I can't kick him with my back legs if he's by my front legs. It makes sense, I know. Uh, all right, are we good? We did take just... Uh, okay, no, we actually didn't really take much damage there. Um, I feel like I should call it to me just because I don't really want to run over there and potentially find... Oh, really? You gonna do me like that, Mr. Shotgun? Come on. Yeah, I don't want to find out whatever else is potentially over there. Okay, well, this is it. I mean, this is what I've been working for. Let's try and do it. I mean, oh, okay. I got to back up more. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, well, the only thing that's hurting me super about right now is his bleed. Um, just in general, like, the saddle is absolutely tanking this damage. So the bleed is realistically what we're looking to, uh, to try and not take much of. Okay, I've already gotten him down by a bunch. 
Oh my god. I don't know how many times I've hit him. I can't really like it would be too difficult to try and figure out exactly how many times is the perfect amount with this. Maybe I can go kind of slow when he Okay, yeah, here we go. Oh my god, we're actually gonna do it. Okay, I'm gonna leave you behind just because you're gonna get in my way. Let me try and knock out this giga. This is it! <laughs> this is it! Come here, buddy! <laughs> The Apex Predator of Ark running from a, a freaking horse. <laughs> Come here, buddy. Come on. This is why you don't stand behind a horse. Oh my god, I can't catch up to him. <laughs> this is never gonna happen. No, no, no. Come on, let me get you. Come on. Come on. How many? Okay, how many kicks is it gonna take now? I don't even know. We gotta actually, we gotta find out his torpor. I'm so stupid. I completely forgot. This is the whole reason why I came over here. There it is. Wait, wait, wait. What is that? 70,000? Okay, we need to get another 30,000 in, basically. Um, okay, crap. Dude, this is so difficult. No! <laughs> He's able to run through the trees and everything. I'm not able to do any of that. Clear the path for me as well. Okay, come on. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> I feel like that Torpor is dropping very fast as well. Because Gigas, they drain Torpor super, super fast. Oh my god, it's already dropped down by a bunch. Okay, crap. Um, No! No! Come on, let me do it! <laughs> let me get you! No! Ah, come here, come on! <laughs> We gotta, we gotta just run in front of him somehow. I didn't even know if that's gonna be possible. Get back here, you son of a... <laughs> it's dropping so much. Ah, oh, this is not fair. No. I didn't want to have to trap him. I thought that would be lame. All right, let me see. Come on. Ah, I'm not even, I'm not even hitting him at all. Great. Uh, okay, hang on. Okay. Another, I definitely didn't hit him with that. Dude, get over here. What are you doing? He's dropped down by a ton. Wow. Okay. Yeah, I needed to be just a little bit faster, just slightly faster. Maybe if he gets himself stuck, that could be great. This is not going to plan. <laughs> I mean, I knew it would Torpor run, but I thought I'd be able to get him. I don't know. <laughs> this, is, this is this is way too messy right now. We got to figure something out. Like, this is it's not working. The whole plan is going to crap. Okay, where even is he? Dude! Ah! Okay, I got to grab my other horse. He's, like, dying over here or something. Ah, okay, well... I don't know if this is gonna happen. I mean, I can't catch up to him. I don't want to have to trap him, like I said. You know, that's lame. I don't want to have to, uh... I want to try and just knock him out in the open, but I don't know if that's actually gonna be possible. Probably not. Hello, Mr. Bracky. Uh... Crap. Okay, where the hell did he even go? Is that him all the way over there? <sighs> okay, I need him to, like, get stuck somewhere. That's what we need. Um, he's probably already just drained down his torpor completely. I don't know if he's still technically torpor running, though. Wow, he hardly hurt me at all. This saddle. This saddle is amazing. And then, obviously, you know... Oh, crap. No, no, no. Okay, I didn't mean to take the fall damage. I thought I was jumping into the water, but... Yeah, I thought he fell down. Never mind. Um, He's still Torpor running, for sure, isn't he? Uh, Yeah, he's got tiny little bit. He's only got, like, 9,000 Torpor. Really? You gotta do me like this? Get back here. No, no, no. You fight me. Like, the Giga you are, you're the Alpha Apex Predator. You're supposed to fight things and kill things, and, and you're running from a horse. I'm not even Torport anymore, probably. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, he's completely drowned, drained down, guys. Like, that is, uh, that's painful. Oh! Wait, wait, oh, we can't, I don't think he can kick in the water. I was just thinking, if we got him into deep enough water, this would be perfect. But yeah, I don't think he can kick when you're in there. Yeah, I don't think that's possible. Also, there's other stuff in the water, apparently. Um, crap. Okay. Yeah, I, I don't know what to do here because I didn't bring stuff for a trap. Like, yeah, I, I guess I, I didn't think about this. Okay, well, he's, it looks like he's probably going to start attacking again. I might be able to get him to come over. Maybe if we can, like, pile more kicks in at the start, that could work out. I don't know. Damn it, dude. <laughs> I mean, like, we have the capability of doing it. It's just the fact that he is a coward. And a, uh, and a fiend. All right, let's get him. Come on. Let me kick you. Kick you down, buddy. How many? Okay, I can't. I don't seem to be able to scan him very much. There we go. Okay. We got him a second ago. All right, we're just going to keep trying. Uh, I mean, I, I got it. Like, there's no other way of doing this right now. <laughs> Come on. Let me, let me get you. Let me scan you. Where? Let me... I can't scan in the water for some reason. Okay, oh my god, he's so close. Oh, we got like a Sarko's on us. Get off of me. No, there's so many of them. Oh my god! What is happening? There's like seven of them. Dude, stop! Ah, get off of me! <laughs> Turds, get away! Stop it! Oh my... Ah, Jesus, okay. This is what you get. 
I think he went unconscious. Amazing. Um, how are you doing there, buddy? I can't even get a proper scan on him. I'm really trying. Okay, 72,000. Can I do this? I can't do the kick in, in the water when I'm swimming. Damn it, dude. <laughs> Just let me knock you out. Come on. Come here. <laughs> yeah. This isn't gonna happen, guys. Oh, it's not gonna happen. I'm so disappointed. Oh, maybe. Okay, hang on, hang on. Can we do it? Come on, let me do it. Let me do it. Please let me do it. No, 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 come on. <laughs> oh, the music is so epic right now. Like, it would be perfect if we could get him out. <laughs> Buddy, come on. Oh, come here, come here, come here. No. <laughs> this is like a wild goose chase. Wild giga chase. Come here, buddy. Oh, he's going to drain down by a ton. Of... Yeah, this is going to happen, guys. It is it is possible, just not on the run like this. I should have thought about this. Come on. Let me... Ah. <laughs> let me get you. Let me get you. <laughs> All right. I think I need to run off and grab some gates. Like, we need to trap him. There's no other way. It, it's not possible when we're running around. If I had a second person, they could fly me around on, on like an RG and, and do that. Yeah, that attack doesn't do torpor. What am, what am I doing? But yeah, that would be an option. You know, that could be a plan. But yeah, this is, this is not going to work. <laughs> I'm so sad. I'm so sad right now. Can I please? <sighs> okay, we can't scan him from this distance, obviously. All right, cool. Well, I guess in revenge, you know, just knock out everything else. Your, what was that? Your foot just flying off to the side for some reason? Cool. Um, by the way, also, we can gather berries with this guy. Very good, right? Yeah, I thought so. Um, anyway. Oh, what was that? Oh, that was a Ferox. Okay, cool. All right, well, I, I need to I need to grab stuff for a trap. We didn't even need mate boost after all of this. Like, look at that. We've only lost, like, not even full 4,000 health right here. That's insane. Okay, we got to heal you. We got to get some gates, and uh, we got to attempt this again. Uh, what a mess. All right, Mr. Giga, I think it's time to put you to bed. All right, so yeah, he's uh, he's fully drained down of Torpor, of course. Uh, it's it's so weird trying to trap this thing took ages. I think I may have kicked him in the head too much. I have no idea. Anyway, he's going to go down pretty soon here, and I am going to accomplish my dream of having a horse strong enough to knock out a Giga. That's in a trap. Okay, that last part's not as impressive, but you know what? Like, you saw it. I couldn't have done this without the trap. Like, once he starts torpor running, it's just, it's game over, man. It's game over. Are you kidding me? Did he actually, I thought he was about to slip out of this trap. That was bad. That was terrifying. Uh, how close is he? He's very close. Uh, that's going up by like 2,500. So let's see, maybe one more. What's he at now? Okay. Oh, there we go. Nice. Oh, and I just pooped beside you a couple times. Oh, that is what you get, buddy. That is, uh... <laughs> By the way, can we just appreciate how beautiful this Giga looks? Like, it's absolutely stunning looking. And just to see... Yeah, look, I didn't screw it up. 100% uh, effectiveness. Amazing! All right, well, I, I don't want this Giga. We're uh, we're gonna go ahead and, and put him into the uh, eternal sleep, if you know what I mean. Um, it's gonna take a little bit. He actually might... No, he won't wake up, actually, because we're dealing Torpor to him with this attack. Uh, <laughs> how, how ridiculous is this video been? I, I've loved it. Oh my god. It's taken so long to put together, but this last part is totally worth it. Guys, I think that's going to be the end of today's video. Leave some name suggestions for, the, for this horse down below. Um, <laughs> let me know if anybody else would be crazy enough to even do something like this. I don't think so. This has been so ridiculous. I'm absolutely loving it. Anyway, yeah, if you have enjoyed the video, go ahead, do me a favor, hit the like button. If you want to see more like this, you can, of course, subscribe. And uh, we're getting very, very close here. I thought I was going to time it up very well, but I guess not. Okay, here, here's the thing. Will its body go up into the air? I would think so. Let's see. Oh, damn it. Okay, I thought it was going to, like, fly way up. All right, well, yeah, there we go, guys. Uh, horses are stronger than Gigas if you max out their melee. <laughs> and uh, just kick the crap out of them. Oh my god, I'm so sorry, Mr. Giga. You definitely deserve this, though, for all that running. <laughs>